All right, hey guys, welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. Uh, to continue on with our Deadpool month, we are playing Deadpool, uh, playthrough inspired by Deadpool 2. Uh, so let's just hop into it here. We've got Strife here. He's sort of our uh, cable uh, antagonist, antagonist proxy because Strife is Nathaniel Summers. So he's going to be our, our uh, cable chasing down Russell. Uh, uh, Master Strike is stack the uh, stack this Master Strike next to Strife. Strife gets a plus one attack for each Master Strike stack next to him. Each player reveals an X-Force hero or discards a card at random. We should be fine on that. And the whole reason uh, Cable comes back in time to kill Russell, Fire Fist, is to stop the future that he unleashes once he um, becomes bad. So we're doing Save Humanity. So it's Strife is going back in time to Save Humanity. Uh, we have 8 twists, 20, or 12 bystanders in the hero deck. Special rules are you can spend 2 recruit to rescue a bystander from the HQ. KO, um, or twist, KO all bystanders in the HQ, then each player reveals a yellow hero or KOs a bystander from the victory pile. Evil wins when the number of bystanders KO'd and or carried off is four times the number of players. Our henchman group is going to be cape killers. They're just like the people transporting uh, Russell and the Juggernaut in the prison transport. And we have Brotherhood as our villain group because Juggernaut's in there. And our heroes are going to be Deadpool, of course, from the base set, or not from the base set, from the Deadpool set, uh, Domino, and Cable. Let's hop into it here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we have a scheme twist. Already, these two get KO'd. So that puts us at two of four, which is unfortunate. And then we have to put something on the bottom. Okay. Well, we've got five recruit and uh, one attack. Let's use that to get um, ready for anything. It's versatile too, so she can do um, either two attack or two recruit. And then we're gonna get lucky break. Draw a card if we play an X-Force hero, we get versatile one. Oh dear. Okay, well, let's hope we don't get another one of these things we have to deal with. Another scheme twist. That is KO'd as well, puts us at three. We're going to put something on the bottom. Super unfortunate. Okay. We have uh, three attack. We're going to do the shield clearance, which means we have a discard card from our hand, a shield card from our hand to fight one of the cake killers. We're going to fight him and then KO a card from your discard pile. So we're going to get rid of this. And then with the two recruit, we'll get um, Lila Miller as a hench or a sidekick or an, an, a, a trainee. I cannot believe we got that unlucky with the uh, bystanders there. We have Mystique. Okay, so there's two attack. We'll play this, we'll investigate for a shield card. Uh, we'll get that shield card and we'll put that one back, but that gives us an attack. We've got three recruit. We're going to get uh, ready for anything. That'll go here. And then we're going to play this for attack and make it five total attack. And then we'll fight Mystique. All right. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, six. Scheme twist. Uh, we would have to KO. We have to get rid of, but there isn't one, so we're good there. Yeah, this is stressing me out. All right. Let's see what we got here. We won't have enough to fight that, unfortunately. We'll play this draw card. We've got four recruit here. Let's get uh, strike at the heart of evil. Two attack, we get plus two only when fighting the mastermind. And we're gonna end our go. I'm like afraid to recruit stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a Master Strike, so he's going to go up by one attack. And then um, each player reveals an X-Force hero or discards a card at random. We have an X-Force hero, so we're good on that. we we'll play that to draw. We still can't fight this Cape Killer. Let's spend one to get another Lucky Break. We have three more. Hmm...
We're going to get a disaster. No, we're going to wait. We're going to end our turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm playing super conservatively because we've, like, if I get a bystander and this a scheme twist, then we're SOL. Okay, it's a bystander there. Okay. Okay, well, we can do something more this turn. So we've got three recruit. Uh, let's see. We have two recruit there. We have three recruit there. Let's see. Let's we'll hold this one back. Let's play this for recruit, giving us four. We'll get a uh, cable here. We're going to play this for attack and this for attack for the verse tile. We'll discard this to fight the cape killer. Our bystander says you may rescue when you rescue this bystander. Whoever is a player is ahead who has most victory points. Uh, KO one of the heroes. And we're going to KO a card from our discard pile. So those are KO'd. And we've got that. Okay. Now let's hope we can get a yellow card in our hand. Which we only have two. In case the scheme twist does come up. Okay, please don't be a scheme twist. Okay, Mystique. Whew. All right, we're going to draw a card. One, two, three, four. Do I run the risk? We're going to get it'll grow back. Um, if you have a wound in your hand or disco pile, KO it and get plus one attack. Otherwise, gain a wound. And, oh dear, please don't be a scheme twist. Next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Master Strike. Okay, whew. He goes up by one. We do have a um, X-Force hero, so we won't discard. We're going to play these two. We're going to play Domino. And we're going to draw a card. We're going to Verse Tile for attack. We're going to play this Domino for recruit. We're going to rescue this bystander. We have two, four, five, six, seven. We get four more to fight against the Mastermind. And we have another recruit. Let's see, we have one. So yeah, we'll fight uh, Strife because he's only nine. Because that's eight and that's nine, basically. Um, a wound from the wound stack becomes a Master Strike and takes effect immediately. So that's a Master Strike. He goes up to 10. And we would have discarded a card, but we have an X-Force card, so we're good there. We're going to end the go. Okay, we're safe for another turn um, in case a Scheme Twist comes out. Oh, that's a Master Strike. Oh, there's our only two yellow cards. Oh, no, we have one more yellow card in our deck. Scheme Twist. So nobody's out there, and then we have yellow, so we get to not uh, KO something. Thank goodness. Oh, dear. This got me stressed. Okay. So we're going to Versatile for the Recruit. And we're going to Rescue this Bystander. Um, when you Rescue this Bystander, patrol the sewers. If it's empty, you get to Recruit. It is not. We're going to buy it. We're going to uh, do this also for recruit and get another one of these ready for anything. And then we've got five attack, four attack we can't do anything with, so we're going to end our go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Cape Killer. Oh, there's our other, uh, our other card there. All right. So we're going to play that for two. We are going to play that. We're going to gain a wound. We're going to play that. We're going to draw a card. I'm going to Versatile for Recruit. We're going to play this, draw a card. I'm going to Versatile for Recruit again. We have this. We're going to get Lucky Break for two, for one. We have five attack. Uh, we're going to discard this for the Cape Killer. We're going to KO a card from our discard pile. We'll get rid of that and then we've got three recruit left because we spent the one on that we'll get another one of these please don't be a bystander okay just trying to fill my deck with yellow cards which do i have any yellows i don't so one two three four five so i have five yellow cards in my deck so i should be good on any given time because i have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen so that's basically three hands, 17, there's five cards, so it's a little less than a third of my deck is yellow, so I should at least be able to get one. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's not great, because half of them are right there. Blob, we can't defeat Blob if we don't have an X-Man hero, which is going to be unfortunate. Okay, 
So we're going to use this opportunity to get some more yellow cards. So we're going to play those two for versatile uh, for recruit. And we're going to get another one of these that will grow back. Oh dear. We're going to play that one for recruit to rescue this bystander. It says, when you rescue this bystander, reveal the top card of the villain deck. If it's a master striker scheme twist, you may shuffle the deck. It's not. Okay. And then there's attack and recruit. We're not going to do anything with that. We're going to end our go. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, let's see. We know that's the cape killer. Okay. We'll play that for attack. We'll play that and draw a card. We'll burst tile for attack. We'll burst tile for attack. So it gives us two there. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We can make seven for stripe, which is not enough. We have five. We'll fight the cape killer. We'll discard this to take out the cape killer. That'll let us KO a card from our discard pile. We're going to get rid of that. And we're going to end our turn. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Scheme twist. We've got yellow. And there's no bystanders in the uh, bystanders here. Oh, stressed out, stressed out. Okay, <laughs> we'll play Cable. We'll play that for attack and draw. We'll play that and KO this for the attack boost. So we can make four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna make that versatile. Wait, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yep, we're gonna versatile uh, two attack on that. And then we're going to get the plus two for fighting the mastermind, and we have a recruit. So it's going to be two, four, five, wait a minute, two. Yeah, wait a minute, let me see this real quick. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait a minute, hold on. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay. That gets put up there. Okay. Uh, each other player reveals an X-Force hero gains wounds. We've got an X-Force hero, so we've avoided that wound. We're going to end our turn. Man, this is... I'm, like, very stressed. Oh, please don't be a scheme twist. <sighs> okay. How many scheme twists have happened? Five. There ain't a lot of cards left in the deck, so... All right, we're going to play that. We're going to play that. We'll draw a card, and we'll do um, attack. We'll draw a card, do an attack. Okay. So that's going to be four total attack, five, six attack, uh, seven, eight attack, plus the two against the mastermind will make it ten, and we'll fight strife again. Um, look at the top five cards of your deck. Put one of them in your hand. Discard the rest. Top five cards, which is nice because I know we'll get yellow cards for sure. Um. We'll put that in our hand, and we'll discard the rest. We've got two recruit. We'll get a sidekick. Oh, there's... A, we got Russell! We got Russell! That was not planned at all. That was completely lucky. So that's Fire Fist. That's Russell. That is who we are def uh, saving from Cable. All right. Okay, we have a yellow, so we're safe from a Scheme Twist for sure, at least for the next uh, turn or so, because I don't think... I mean, we can only draw one card at maximum, so we should be fine regardless of the next couple turns uh, to stop us from losing a bystander because of the scheme. Scheme twist, nothing gets KO'd. We have a yellow card, so we're good on that. We'll put that on the bottom. Oh, there's a bystander. Okay, Strife's got one st uh, tactic left. Can we win the game? Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, and we'll draw a card. So it's possible. Um. We're going to play this for recruit first. We're just going to kind of push it here. We're going to kind of see what we can do. We're going to get this, and this is going to let us... When you rescue Spice Center, draw a card now, or draw a card at the end of your turn. We're going to draw a card now. Oh, dear. We've got two recruit. We'll rescue this Spice Center. Let us KO one of our heroes or a card from our discard pile. Okay. We're going to verse tile. We'll draw a card. We're going to do it for uh, attack. So we don't have enough this turn, but that is okay. 
we'll play this and gain a wound. We'll play this, so it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, and we'll fight Mystique. And we're going to end our turn. That is totally fine. We should be good next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Master Strike. We're going to go up to 11. And if we don't have an X Force card, we're going to discard a card, which we have X Force, so we're good on that. We'll play that. We'll KO the wound for the attack. All right, we'll put, draw a card. We'll draw a card for attack. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and then this says. Oh, hold on. Let's not play this real quick. We're going to wait to play that. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to fight Blob. It says you can't defeat Blob unless you have an X-Men hero. I have an X-Men hero. I just have to have it, which is in my hand, so he's defeated. And then we're going to fight Sabretooth. Each player reveals an X-Men hero gains a wound. And we have an X-Men card, so we're, going to gain, we're not going to gain the wound there. And then we'll play him. Investigate your deck for a zero-cost card. Uh, we can discard it, put it back. We're going to do that, and then he goes at the bottom. Safe and sound. Do I have a yellow in my hand? I do. Okay. Another way to avoid having to lose the game. We should win next turn, though, because the cable stuff is going to be 8. So that's 9, 10. So we just need one attack, and we've won the game. And there it is. All right. Master Strike. We're going to gain a wound. Oh, no, we're not going to gain a wound. Um, he goes up to 12. And then we would have we have an X Force card, so we're good. So attack, 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 attack. Gain wound. Two, two, that's four. So it's gonna be six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Strife is out. Reveal the top six cards of the villain deck, play all the master strikes you reveal, put the rest back in order. Alright, we won! That was a fast game. Let's count the victory points up. We'll be right back. Alright, so we had 45 uh, victory points here, minus. Uh, 18, so 45, 27. I was a little lower than I was hoping for, but it is what it is. That is going to be the playthrough for Deadpool 2. Um, I was, man, I was getting nervous there. That very first, that beginning part was really rough with the bystanders because we did not, that did not go well for us at the very beginning. And thankfully, we were able to get these domino cards for the yellows because the only yellows in the deck in the hero deck are the dominoes, domino commons, and these Deadpool commons. I don't think, because I think her rare is, yeah, it's red, and that's it. Yeah, so we were kind of, all we had were 10 cards. So I guess that's not a lot. That's actually a decent number. But man, getting those that come out at the beginning was really tough. So thankfully we worked it out. But that is going to be the playthrough for today. That is Deadpool 2. The other, um, the other scheme I thought about was predict future crime because it's sort of like Strife knows what's going to happen if Russell goes down that dark path. So it's like he's going back to stop the future crime. So that was the other one I thought of, but I thought Save Humanity worked well as well. Um, I just didn't know what other villain group to use uh, for, for predict future crime because you have to add a second villain group. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think. Um, I liked the ensemble for Deadpool 2. I, I thought Domino was a lot of fun. Cable was fine. He, I liked his portrayal better in like the X-Men cartoons. So Cable was fine, but D Domino was a, the big highlight for that film for me. Uh, I don't know if she's going to be in Deadpool and Wolverine. So hopefully we get a little cameo from her. I don't know if that's going to be the case or not. Because uh, as of recording this, it has not come out yet. So, um, but anyway, next week you should see uh, Deadpool and Wolverine playthrough from me. And I'll give my thoughts on the film and I'll be excited to know what you guys think of it. But uh, uh, that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and bye-bye.